Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? So, we've got two silage clamps here with about 2.7 million litres of chaff on each and we were starting to struggle a bit with getting them rolled. So, what I've done is they are now, if you take a look here, right in the top right hand corner, chaff 2.7 million litres compacting 99% and if we go to this one here, 2.6 million liters and compacting 99%. I found in the, it's in the vehicles XML, you've got to go through and you've got to find the bunker that's got the silage in it and it says liters of chaff in, or a liters fill level or something like that and then beside it it says, oh, it's, I think it says fill level or chaff fill level and then it says um, compacted fill level and as you drive over it um, the compacted level uh, slowly increases. That's the sort of what it does with the game. So all you've got to do is put the um, compacted fill level to almost what the uh, fill level is. I wouldn't recommend putting the compacted fill level above the number of the actual fill level. And if you put both numbers exactly the same when you come to it, I would imagine that it would say 100%. I didn't actually test it because I had a few other issues that I was dealing with. Um, I sort of made some minor tweaks to our rolling tractor um, just to sort of make sure that everything was working fine with it and I, um, I needed to sort of make a few uh, minor adjustments ready for today's episode and it ended up um, doing something very very weird with the camera for it um, and I, it took me ages to sort of figure out how to fix the camera and it also took me quite a while to sort of um, do the changes and everything so I didn't um, look at testing anything else with the um, silage. So just getting rid of that one. Um, we'll get rid of that one as well. We've got no need to keep that. Okay, and we'll get rid of that one. So we've got no need to keep that. Get rid of just a couple of items. Um, so that is done there. What we need now is a, a wheel loader so that we can go and just finish off that silage clamp. Now we've got this case construction one. Uh, we've got any others? Got that New Holland one there. I don't have any massive great big ones. I was looking at getting one. Um, we'll go with this one because I haven't actually used this one yet. So we'll set up these uh, front twins, uh, wide fenders. So we'll just go for, actually let's go for wide fenders. Let's see what that's like. Um, get that one and come back out of there. And I will go with the standard silage fork, I think, because um, I haven't had, I haven't gone and purchased anything new anything different uh, for this particular job because I didn't really think we'd need to worry about it yet so let's just get that one that's 10 it is 10,000 liters that's probably more than enough for what we want um let's come out of there and back over to this one right my weekly question for this week is we are going to be doing sugar beet at the very top of our map and in order to um well once we've done the harvest up there it's going to be a reasonable harvest I think there is going to be a, just one or two sugar beet kicking around by the time we have harvested all of that. If I go from fruit types and I go to growth, that is our field. Okay, needed to sneeze. Um, yeah, that's our field and we're planting all of that with sugar beet and this here we're planting with grass. Um, so yeah, it's going to take a little while. Um, and there's going to be quite a few sugar beet on it when we're finished. So when we are finished doing that, what would you like to see uh, me do with the sugar beets? So we'll just stop that one there a second. What we're going to do is we're going to flick through a few machines here and we're going to put our other things going because I haven't actually put them going yet. So there is our fertilizer that we're buying and filling up that trailer. Um, there is our um, Zeta busy cultivating this field here. Doing a grand job it is too. It's absolutely, I love the fact that this one is still going strong. It's doing, it is doing a really good job, but it's it's going to take one. I, I don't know if it's going to finish it before we finish this series, to be honest. Um, right, that's the combines. We don't worry about it. We don't want to worry about any of these John Deere. I think we'll just sell these. I, I keep saying that, but um, yeah, I do think that we will. Um, and then we want to get our battle tractors going again. So they're continuing with planting grass, and we'll go for this one here. You can carry on. And then finally this one here, you can carry on. Battle tractors planting grass. It's absolutely fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. I love it. Um, so yes, 
the weekly question. All the sugar beet from the field at the top of the map, what do you want me to do with it? Should we just sell it direct as we get the sugar beet or should we dump it in a heap somewhere? Dumping it in a heap somewhere could put a bit of strain on the map. It could put a bit of strain on the computer and the map and getting it recorded. We could have some serious lag issues if we try to do that. However, it could also be interesting. Um, on the other hand, if we sell it direct, we're going to make an absolute fortune. And we could see just how much money you can get if you sell direct off the field on a job like that. I mean, it, it's, it's going to be a mind-boggling amount of money that we're going to get from something like that. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. Um, but anyway, it's your vote. It's your game. Head into the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right-hand corner. Now, what I would like to do is I just want to do a... So we, we don't do everything as complete um, mad extreme tasks. We do sometimes do the occasional marginally sensible task like this here. We do need to get the rest of this chaff put in here and then we need to get it leveled down. So that is what we're just going to do for a few minutes. We're going to spend just a few minutes tidying this up because the course player, if you remember... Um, was going around in circles in a very bizarre fashion and dumped it all out on the floor. So we're going to have to pick it up. We're also going to have to figure out a way to actually pick that up properly. Then we're going to need a tractor up here so that we can um, finish doing the compacting. Just going to have to take it. It's now gone back to 98% compaction. Um, I mean, I suppose I could have uh, changed the numbers so that they were all identical, but I knew that we had to add in this extra bit, um, and I didn't really want to risk breaking it. I'd already broken the rolling tractor a couple of times and needed to um, do a quick fix on that. So we'll probably get... Actually, I think we'll get the, um, the little Massey Ferguson, and we'll use that one to roll the clamp, um, because that one... No, actually, no, we're not going to use that one. I've got another job for that one, um, and my plea is still open, um, and I will mention it each video this week at least. Um, any modders out there able to modify a small tractor like the Massey Ferguson that we were using yesterday in order to um, sort of have all of the qualities of a very big tractor. We want a, an obscenely big tractor, like 3,000 horsepower tractor, um, with a suitable weight so that it can um, drag things around without any trouble. I mean, I think part of the problem with the Massey Ferguson that we were having yesterday is the fact that the hitch point was quite low on that tractor. So when you hitch on the C drill that we tried to put onto it, and um, what happened was uh, it was lifting the tractor off the ground slightly, um, which would explain why it wouldn't sort of grip properly. And I've increased the weight of the tractor a bit, but then you've got the sort of um, like the, the dynamic responses of the tractor um, in order to uh, like grip the grip the ground as it goes around corners and stuff. And that was one of the things that I was trying to alter a fraction on the Rollin tractor. Um, and I did manage to do it a little bit, but um, it's not great. And we're stuck. Are we seriously stuck? I think we are. And, oh, there we go. I, ca I can lift. It's very, it, it does behave in a very peculiar fashion sometimes, these machines. Um, especially, like, a, just as a straight fork like we've got on this one. It's um, sticking into the ground... You, you, you point it straight down and it loads the fork up completely. So we've got all of that silage on there. If I can just tip this onto the side on here, is that going to work? Is it going to let me? Sort of. It's thinking about letting me. Come up here. Ah, there we go. We, we can, we've got a little uh, patch over there that we can tip onto. There we go. Excellent. Um, it should just be one maybe two more forkfuls and then we can get on to the other bit that i want to do today we've got a uh, well we've got to start planting haven't we we've got to start planting the sugar beet up in the big field and i did wonder how we were going to do this did we uh we're going to get like a few great plain cedars or something like that um and i thought well you know what we're planting the grass with the the big air hawk things um so we've, we've kind of got sensible being done. Um, I mean, yes, we are using battle tractors rather than, um, you know, something a little more standard. But nevertheless, we are still, um, it, it's still fairly sensible. And so we need something a bit more interesting. 
I think. So something, something a little more entertaining. So I've got just the job. I've got just the machine for the job. And it should work reasonably well. I have run some tests on it and it did seem to do it did seem to work um we've just got to go back to it again and double check that it is actually going to do it so this is it's now gone down to 97 percent compaction on this i think it's just because we keep spooning in extra stuff so we can take this one off the clamp um you know what we're not actually going to need this anymore so if we just sell this one now and i just got to find it. It doesn't put it into the order that you buy it. So, you know, you go to the very back. It doesn't have the machine that you've just purchased. Um, but we could sell some of these John Deere's. And then we don't have so many machines that we've got to flick through. Um, we'll also sell... Actually, we'll sell all of the John Deere's. I'm going to sell all of the John Deere's. I'm going to sell all of the plows. And um, also this one here. So we've got fewer machines kicking around on the map, which should... Um, improve our frame rates and then we can get going with our next bit right we are taking the little massey ferguson down to the shop down here and i'm actually going to just avoid the traffic today and um, one thing that this tractor is doing is i think that we need to increase like the downward force of the front axle because it doesn't seem to grip enough to allow it to turn the corner properly um, so maybe that's something i can look at because i did try looking at that with the rolnin tractor and i think i've managed to do something um anyway we don't need to worry about that we want this one and we want a there it is amazon edx 6000 and you'll see that this has now got a 45,000 liter capacity so we will buy that one okay and back out of there we get this one hitched on now it does do it with this one but because the front of this tractor is quite light it doesn't do it very well um so I have, it's it's limited success on this particular task, but it has, I have been able to get it to work. Um, I'm not going to attempt to put anything, if I lift it up, I can't drive forward, it won't go forwards. I can go backwards, but I cannot get, for some reason, whatever reason, I don't know why, it won't go forward. If I lower it down, it will then go forward. So it's got the power to pull it forwards, and it's got the power to spin it around in circles and do all sorts of crazy things with it. Um, we'll just switch that over to Sugar Beet, and we can now go up to the top of the map. We will go about here. There we go, and uh, close that down a little bit. Right, see, it's not going anywhere, and the weight that I've got on the tractor is pushing this down into the ground. As soon as I lower it down a bit, it starts working, and it does do the job okay. So we, we can do this. Um, it does kind of work. It's just not brilliant, um, especially as <laughs> it does drift around quite a bit. So we'll unfold it and we'll leave it down on the ground. Um, and I'm going to use this one to do some of it. It doesn't um, plant at a <laughs> tremendous speed. Um, so, yeah, we're, there's, there's certainly room for improvement on this tractor. There's all kinds of numbers and stuff that need to be tweaked in order to get this to work properly. Um, and which ones they are i really don't know it's kind of it's beyond my skill to do at the moment however i'm learning very fast with modifying all of these mods so i may be able to get there at some point might be able to do it one day and we'll start we'll just put it on h and yes i have altered the width of it just a fraction as well oh and the working speed the working speed is tweaked up ever so slightly as well so we have our massey ferguson going along at a nice comfortable 24 miles an hour now this sea drill is actually capable of doing more than this we do have a better speed available for it but we'll we'll let it get down to the end here so that you can sort of see what it does um and also we'll be able to take a look on the map here we've um that's the growth we've got fruit types here this is where it's coming out to we're coming out to here and we're going all the way up it's gonna be amazing <laughs> It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Oh, we're, we're at 30, 30 miles an hour. I just wanted to um, flick back just to see that. But yeah, this is absolutely fantastic. Look at the size of this field. It is going to be incredible. And for some reason, it's already fertilized. Or at least that bit is. Um, and I'm not sure why that is all fertilized. I think it might be because we fertilized it in and uh, or when we plowed or something like that. I'm not quite sure. Right, it comes up to the end. And it slows down, comes on round, and now this is the bit where it really struggles with the hired help. See, it's not turning the corner. 
Um, and this this is the bit that it, it really does struggle with. It will it does get there eventually, um, but it's gonna have it's gonna be a little bit untidy on the ends, and then it lowers it down. And away it goes again. And yes, I do know now how to adjust the working width for the AI as well as the actual machine because it's two separate things and I managed to get both of them. So we have a 24 meter working width on this one. I didn't think we would go any bigger than that for now. Maybe we will in the future. I'm not quite sure. But that one is doing just fine. It's doing a magnificent job. So that one is going at 28 miles an hour. So we're going to go over to the wrong in here. And I broke the camera on this one. I made some alterations. Let me just unhitch it. Um, the top speed is now a little bit higher. I've increased the power of it. So we've got 93 miles an hour top speed. Um, I managed to fix the camera. I think I figured out what I did wrong on that. It's to do with how you save and exit the... Um, program to modify but you'll notice that the front axle is now sort of in the ground a little way it's it's I've increased the weight of the entire tractor um, and it's now pushing into the ground and there's a couple of other things that I tweaked in the i3d file that I think have contributed to it um, sticking in the ground a bit um, it does seem to have a better grip um, it's definitely a heavier machine but it it's still not responding quite as well as I would hope um, but it's, it's a lot better. It's significantly improved to what it was. So we're going to take this one and we're going to run down to the shop so that we can get another one of those seed drills. Um, and we want to go in here. We want another Amazon seed drill by, yes, okay, back out of there. And then we want a front weight just to weigh it down a little bit. And I think we're going to go, I think this is only 1,200 kilos. Um, this one here is uh, 2,400 kilos, which would be a lot better. But this is a minion's weight. This, this, yeah. Um, so we're going to go for this one. Um, just because it's a minion weight. I would actually like to um, modify that one slightly so it's a little bit heavier. And I might do that at some point soon. If I can just make a tiny, tiny alteration to that one. Um... I'm not quite sure how you do a specific weight. That's that's one thing I'm not sure of, but I'm sure there is a way. So if we come back up and we get this one on. Now, running this one empty, it doesn't really seem to have any issues. And it's only when you start filling it up that you start to have a few problems. Now, we do have some tanks over here next to... Oop, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do that. So we got these tanks over here. So if we just put... We'll put some crop in here um some seed and some fertilizer so there's there is a little bit in here um well that's filling up so we want that to be on sugar beet i'll put 5,000 liters in each and it's it makes a difference with the weights and everything i tried i tested this filling it right up i've got um 20, liters of seed and um is that the fur that's the fertilizer there isn't it yeah um yeah, 20,000 litres of seed and 25,000 litres of fertiliser is the capacity. And when you load it right up, this tractor does sit up in the air and beg a little bit. It, um, so it doesn't really like it a great deal. Um, but like this, I mean, now if you look, you just sort of look at the, the response of it. I do have the, the minion weight on the front and it is sliding around a bit. I've really had to increase the, um, the brake capacity on this one. This is something that quite surprised me, actually. It was highly entertaining when I found out because we came. I came up here to test it and I ran at speed. It was running at full speed and it went out to the end and it just kept going. The hired help lifted it here and it just slid right up to the very end of the map. Fortunately, there is a collision all the way around the edge of the map, but it was absolutely brilliant. Came right up through and smacked into the edge of the map. It was awesome. Um, so yeah, that, that was a very rewarding experience for me. Um, I'm not quite sure why I found it so rewarding, but it was nevertheless a very rewarding experience. And if we set this one going here... No, what are you doing? Where are you going? Just a minute. Uh, control H. It's on normal. Right, there is no reason that that should have done that, other than maybe I needed to come forward a little bit more let's try that it might oh it might be because of where the edge of the, the working width of the machine was this should be a reasonably straight line up through here because we did use the gps mod to set this line all the way up across the map didn't we so in theory 
this one should be okay. Um, and maybe I could try and push it a little bit closer to the edge. I think it was because I had the, the AI working width was reading the collision on the edge of the map. And that's why it didn't like it. So at the moment we're doing 38 miles an hour seeding. If you get this one going downhill, as it's going to be doing now in a second, it does increase. We're up to 40. Before I increase the weight of the tractor, um, and uh, there was, uh, I think it's uh, the dense, there's not, not the density, but above the density. Some of you who know about uh, modding, you've got density on the list um, in the i3d file. And then above the, where it says the density, you've got, um, it's like the downward um, traction or something like that. They were on 0.5. I've increased those to 0.75. And it does, it seems to have made a difference. I'm not quite sure what it's done, though. Um, but since I made those alterations, it runs slower. I was seeding at 75 miles an hour previously. But now, I, I, I mean, it's partly the increased weight of the tractor. And I think also the increased amount of... Um, Break, I've got in, I increased the braking force so because the braking force has increased I think that's something to do with it as well but if you look here you can see that it is pushing right into the ground and that I believe is having a significant effect on the actual ability for it to go forwards at any kind of speed um, but I wanted this downward pressure in order to stop it from sliding all over the place so how do you what I want to do is I want to increase the forward speed um, and have this increased downward pressure so that's something that I'm working on but this whole seeding at 40 miles an hour is I, I can live with this um, I mean we, this is kind of what we were doing with the <laughs> plowing anyway um, 40 miles an hour seeding up through here we've nearly done a full length of this field and I'm not sure what the actual scale of it all is um, but you, you're looking at a couple of miles. I think that, I think that um, from one side of the map to the other is like four miles or something like that. I, so I think the original one is two miles by two miles. So I think it's four miles. So this is roughly three miles across, I think. I, know, I might be wrong on this. Now, is it going to be able to stop in time? Stop, stop, stop. Oh! <laughs> we, we, have run, we have cut this one pretty close to the gorge. When I did it the first time and I tested it up this end... It just went sailing straight over the edge, dived into the water, and that was the end of it. It, it didn't want to know. Um, but hopefully that's the narrowest point there. So we should be okay, I think. The rest of it should work out quite well. Um, the the Massey Ferguson appears to have stopped. We'll go and check that one out in a second. This one is now doing just fine. Um, there is no reason to think that this one is going to have any problems doing a nice big swath right across the top there. So if we go and take a look at the Massey, yes, that's what it's done. It's bogged itself down in the mud. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Let's see what it does. It's just going to spin mud. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. Uh, right, how we... It's, it's not going to move at all, is it? Especially not with that thing up in the air. If I do that, maybe, and then uh, unhitch it, can I Can I get out? I can't even get out. Right, let's, let's lift it on, and we'll go here, and then we'll go F11. And I, all I want to do is I want to try and get this as accurate as I can. I'm going to go forward just a tiny fraction, only a little bit. Now, maybe we shouldn't have gone straight back into the mud. It does fold it up when it does this. Now what's it going to do? It's just going to slide me straight into the mud. Um, if I can, if I can just get forward a little bit, lower it down. Is that going to? Yes, 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 yes. We've got increased traction. We can do this. Right, we're out of the mud. Just enough to, enough to count. And if we can just back up a little bit around here go on we can do this it doesn't matter if we've got a tiny tiny bit that's left there I think if we I think we can go from there that isn't much and it's about the same working width that we had previously we are still gonna get hopelessly stuck just up here but at least we can go on a little bit further go on go on we can get this we can get through this yes we're getting there and that's the end of it He's not going to go any further than that, is he? Um, <laughs> okay. I, I actually really like this. I really do like this tractor. Um, 
Now, I think I think we're going to have to get the rolling over here to do this. So what we'll do is if we... Um, no, no, no. I don't want to change the seed. I almost accidentally changed the seed then. If we make this a little bit bigger and we go like this, we can move this one to somewhere in the middle of the map like that. And we'll start this one going again. We are going to actually get a couple more rollings, I think, so that we can um, speed this process up. But we'll be doing that tomorrow. We can't do it today. We have now run out of time. If I can just back this one up without spinning it around too much. Yeah, he's not going to go forwards. Um, easy, easy. It's it's the way that it spins you round as you keep going. Once it's lifted you up in, once it's lifted the stuff up in the air. Um, and I suspect that some of what I want to do, I want this track to be able to go flat out. At the same time, I want it still to be able to work. And I got a feeling that it's not actually going to be physically possible to do some of the things that I want it to do because of the way that the physics work in the game. Um, so we will sort of have to wait and see. But anyway, what we can do is we'll set it going here and then the narrow end over there will get another roll in and we'll put it going on there. Um, he can carry on up through there. I want to go and see this one again and see how this one's doing because this one's my favourite. What is it doing now? Uh, okay, that's very strange. I suspect it's because of the um, like the angle of it or something. Or maybe where the field was. I think it did do something peculiar like this. No, it didn't. We haven't actually tried it up here. So I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. That does seem... I know why. It's because of the, the angle of the field. It's not actually... It'll lift it out of the ground once it's travelling forward. If the, if the angle like around it is too steep. So we'll have to come back and manually pick up some of this, I think, in order to tidy it up. It's only going to be this bit along the edge of the map. Because the bit in the middle, I think, will be just fine. I don't think there's going to be any problems with any of that. I think it's just those bits there where the angle of it kind of turns round a bit. Um, it doesn't like it. So, we don't need, we, yeah, we don't need to worry about that too much. The speed that this one's going is probably going to do most of this job by itself anyway. We're not really going to need to worry about um, having, um, having to get anything a bit bigger. But yeah, I think, I was wondering whether we should have the Massey Ferguson as our screenshot today, but I'm also now thinking that the Ronin with the minion weight on the front is actually a pretty good picture. I like that one. I, th I think I think we're going to go for that today, and then we'll have another Massey Ferguson, because I did Massey Ferguson yesterday, didn't I? Right, anyway, um, en enough about my screenshots. I'm always talking about my screenshots. Um... Yes, the weekly question, as we're planting all this sugar beet up here, we're going to need to do something with it. And when we harvest it, do you want me to dump it in a heap somewhere on the map? Or do you want me to sell it directly to the dealership, which are the, I think is probably the sugar factory, actually, is the one that we'll use. And there is a sugar factory sort of in the middle, near the bottom. Um, there is milk cell, the sugar factory, livestock market, they're all kind of around there. Um, so we could take it straight to the sugar factory and sell it there. But, yeah, I'm not quite sure what you want me to do. So, it's your vote. It's your game. Head in the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And, of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right-hand corner. Um, I think we all... Uh, we, well, I'm not going to do a great deal between now and next episode, actually. I'm going to, in the next episode, we'll get a couple more rolling tractors. I'm starting to really like these rolling tractors. I mean, I think I'm going to have to do some more tweaks to it. Because I don't like the the increased weight seems to be a bit detrimental to um, proper working speeds. I um, mean, we don't want we don't want it um, slow down and, uh, too much because that, that would just be ridiculous. So, oh, help us see is blocked by an object. I suspect that the um, dear little Massey Ferguson has once again encountered some mud. So, is that going to stop? Yes, beautifully done. Uh, let's go back here. Oh, it's encountered a hill this time. Right, it does look like the Massey Ferguson is just not going to be able to do this job, doesn't it? Um, yeah. That's a real shame. I was hoping that this tractor would be able to do this, but it, it doesn't look like it's going to be able to do it, does it? That's, that's, unless I maybe I can tweak it some more, I'm not quite sure. Um, that's going to have to wait until next week, I think. What we're going to do now is we are going to... Actually, I'm just going to leave it here for now. We'll just lower that one down like that. And... I will unhitch it, start the tractor up, and we'll move. We'll just move the tractor away, but I'm going to use the tractor as a marker for bringing out the next rolling. Um, but yes, if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like, and if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. 
get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and if we were working on standard ground this would probably actually work a lot better um but yeah we'll use one of these tractors to finish rolling the clamp in tomorrow's episode as well um but yes until next time thank you very much for watching this is frithgar goodbye and see you later